That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. As Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took those historic first steps on the moon's surface, it seemed to the millions watching back on Earth that mankind was embarking on a new era of space exploration. In fact, the era was drawing to a close. Within just three years, the Apollo project was over. One of the astronauts who made history half a century ago is appalled that there's been nothing to match it since. 50 years ago, the Saturn V took the command module, the lunar module, three of us to the moon. We landed, explored, got back up again, rendezvoused, came back. That's 50 years of non-progress. I think we all ought to be a little ashamed that we can't do better than that. One reason was the huge expense. The other was that Apollo had fulfilled its main purpose. Apollo was a bit of a one-off. I mean, we went to the moon to beat the Soviets, and when we, we did that, we lost interest pretty quickly. But uh, it, was no, it did not create a sustained human exploration of the solar system. But now, 50 years on, there's renewed enthusiasm from both the public and the politicians. The U.S. has pledged to return man to the moon and then on to Mars. I am proud to report at the direction of the President of the United States of America. America will return to the moon within the next five years, and the next man and the first woman on the moon will be American astronauts. It's not just the U.S. that has big plans. Other nations, like China and India, have joined the party. And so has the private sector, most famously the billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk. His SpaceX initiative has already launched dozens of satellites. He's pledging to land the first humans on Mars within five years. The space race is back on. John Brain, TRT World, Washington.